you write that your philosophy is food is fun and you get to enjoy it three times a day plus snacks. That sounds like a big attitude shift. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, this book is all about how to have fun enjoying food with your kids and worry less because I think parents spend a lot of time worrying about food issues with their kids that you don't really need to worry about. Um, you know, uh, I like food. Iris likes food. It's something we can agree on. Some days she's a very picky eater. Some days she's not. It's all going to work out. How did you prevent food from not only becoming not a battleground, uh, but you turned it into a way to bond with your child? And I think that's, that's a touch of magic to many parents. Well, I realized that from a very early age, I mean, from when she started solids at about seven months, it was, it was really the number one thing that we had in common. And you know, one thing that I learned quickly is that there, there doesn't have to be a difference between baby food and adult food, that even a seven-month-old mo seven can eat almost anything I eat. As long as it's not a choking hazard and as long as it's not something too chewy, then, you know, we could share it, even when she had no teeth. Do you hide food? Do you put spinach in the meatballs? I don't like that because, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not strongly opposed to that, but it's not the way I like to cook, and so it would make the whole thing less fun for me. And I don't think it's that important, you know. Most kids go through a phase where they really don't like green stuff. Iris is in that phase right now. And then, you know, they get around to college, say, or, uh, uh, you know, they discover the, the all-you-can-eat salad bar in the dining hall. There's peer pressure involved. I think a lot of parents worry that, that their kid's palate is going to be formed permanently when, uh, when the kid is like four or five years old. And it's just not true. You know, I, I became an adventurous eater in my 20s. And maybe uh, the most fun part of your book, or well, one of the most fun ideas, is that Iris gets to choose dinner one night a week and you and your wife aren't allowed to veto her choice. How old is she again? She's five. She's five, currently. So what does a five-year-old choose? Is it the same thing? Is it, you know, pizza every Thursday when it's her turn? It's, it's often pizza. Um, Chinese dumplings are, uh, pan-fried dumplings are probably her number one favorite food. Might and she as chooses, well be pizza. Yeah, chooses that a lot, but uh, all those are so good. Uh, and, uh, but uh, last week, and I haven't gotten into it, gotten to it yet because I was, we were coming to New York, she, uh, she wanted homemade udon noodles. And uh, we use this recipe where um, you make the dough, you put it in a Ziploc bag, and then you stomp on it with your feet uh, to knead it because it's such a stiff dough. And then you cut it into noodles and boil them up. And if you just opened a package of ramen, would she know the difference? I, I think she would. These are, these are kind of a big, uh, gutsy, chewy, uh, rustic noodle. Um, but uh, she's, she's had the ramen.